drifting down from the dreadlands of the north, have come a strange and brutal people. Members of their kind seem drawn to accursed and desolate places, prowling the charnel pits, burial mounds, and crypts so often shunned and feared by others. They emerge from haunted forests and dire swamps, ancient ruins and fallen bastions, often as saviors to the people who live in the shadows of such places, but never truly welcomed. Clad in the hides of great beasts, and armed with weapons most men would struggle to lift, they are scorned, feared, and sometimes honored as little more than barbarians. But amongst their own kind, they name themselves the children of Bull Cathos. If they are drawn to haunted places, it is only because they possess a greater understanding of the world than their rugged appearance would suggest. More than most, they understand that sanctuary is a world wreathed in darkness, and wherever that darkness encroaches beyond its normal boundaries, the Northmen must appear. The barbarians place only occasional value in the recording of their own history, which remains to this day disjointed and sometimes lost entirely. Ironically, it is not from their various tribes that the most complete picture of their origins might be uncovered, but rather from the druids of Skosglen, who claim an ancient kinship with the Northmen. Written in their sacred book of Scale Fara is a tale of two brothers, or perhaps close confidants. Fiaclagir, whom the druids consider to be their great forefather, and Bull Cathos, whom the barbarians similarly venerate. Both the ancient texts of the druids and the oral histories of the barbarians agree that these legendary figures learned of a great power, but differed on the best way to protect it. Fiaclagir embraced a relationship with nature, while Bull Cathos pursued martial perfection. The philosophy of combat practiced by Bull Cathos appealed to the tribespeople of the Northern Steppes. His belief that they were the chosen protectors of Mount Uriat, the greatest mountain of sanctuary, served as a unifying force across the disparate clans. The walled fortress city of Haragath was raised at its base, a rallying point and source of pride for a culture that otherwise remained largely nomadic. When Bull Cathos himself passed from the mortal world and into legend, the Northmen would continue to venerate him as an almost spiritual figure, naming him the Immortal King. Now known as the children of Bull Cathos, the barbarians spread across the western lands of Sanctuary, but in doing so, lost the sense of purpose that had bound them together. After a series of intertribal wars, a new king, Warusk, succeeded in once again aligning his people in common purpose. Though his reign was to be short, the Council of Elders he established would provide a form of lasting governance across the ensuing centuries. He was the second figure to ever be named an immortal king, an honor that has never again been repeated. The Barbarian Empire, or perhaps merely Barbarian tribes, extend as far south as the Torrigen jungles. At some point, they came into contact with the Samaran Empire, who desired the sons of Bulkathos as slaves. Under the command of Raykor, who would become the first female warmaster of her people, the barbarians would prevail. The capital of their would-be oppressors was sacked, and its peoples freed. Against the rise of the Zakarum faith, the barbarian tribes were less successful, and crusades from the east would eventually drive them back to the northern steppes. Firmly entrenched in their ancient homelands, the barbarians grew isolated, permitting only sporadic trade with the outside world. They savagely defended their lands from any foreign incursion, and the blend of martial prowess and sheer physical might they displayed made them the object of fascination within the Western Kingdoms. From Westmarch to Lodgolene, they were equally romanticized and vilified as barbarians a term that would be somewhat embraced by the Northmen themselves. The barbarians were gravely concerned with the god Diablo's re-emergence within the town of Tristram and the growing threat of his two brothers, the Primevals. Their greatest warriors left the confines of the Northern Steppes and began roving the lands beyond, seeking information and allies. 
It is said that one among their number accompanied a group of warriors who pursued Diablo far into the east and through the burning hells themselves. Diablo and his brother Mephisto were supposedly slain, but Baal, the last of the prime evils, remained. Unbeknownst to the wider world, the great power that Bulkathos had charged the barbarians to defend was nothing less than the World Stone, an ancient relic that had shaped all of Sanctuary and had the power to undo it. It had been hidden within Mount Arayat, which was merely a protective shell. This was Baal's target, and the consequences to the world, should he succeed in corrupting it, had long been feared by the Northmen. The prophecies of the final day were known in many variations across Sanctuary, but typically dismissed as superstitions. To the Northmen, however, it was nothing less than a sacred warning left behind by Bulkathos himself. In spite of every preparation, the army gathered by Baal overwhelmed the barbarian armies. At the fortress city of Dakan Shah, the defenders were slaughtered to almost a man, and the great capital of Sesheron followed swiftly after. Armies of demons and unnatural creatures poured into the north, until the ancient bastion of Haragath was all that remained. Though besieged on all sides, the World Stone was not without protection. Haragath formed a center of resistance, manned by the last of their warriors, while Mount Ariat itself was protected by guardians of ancient power. The Council of Elders likewise sacrificed themselves to create a spell of warding, a powerful obstacle to any demonic force. Together, these might have thwarted Baal's plans, but the barbarians were betrayed by one of their own. Nilithak, a member of the Council, had not taken part in the collective sacrifice of his peers, and was now the last remaining elder. He had become convinced of the supremacy of the prime evils, and provided to the Lord of Destruction the means to ascend Mount Arayat, so that Haragath might be spared. Nilithak and Baal both fell to the same warriors, who slew Diablo and Mephisto, but not before the World Stone was corrupted by the influence of the prime evils. To spare humanity and sanctuary itself from damnation, the Archangel Tyriel destroyed the World Stone, igniting a cataclysm that would shatter Mount Ariat and the surrounding landscape. Toxic ash and drifts of magical energy swept across the north, leaving them so despoiled that they would be known thereafter as the Dreadlands. The children of Bulkathos are today an aimless people. Their homeland is a devastated waste, and the destruction of the World Stone they swore to defend has left their confidence and resolve equally shattered. Any semblance of unity amongst the various clans has evaporated, and each has faced the changed world in a different way. Some hold fast to the martial discipline of their immortal king, while others have regressed into little more than savages, and possibly even cannibals, if the darkest tales can be believed. Many others have become drifters, walking the roads of Sanctuary in search of evil to destroy, a bloody quest of penance and redemption. In the enclaves that have stayed true to the teachings of Bulkathos, the proud martial culture of the Northmen can still be seen. Whatever ills they may have suffered, they remain a powerfully built people, their innate strength heightened by a life spent in some of the most inhospitable places imaginable. They excel in every aspect of physical combat, and will never shy away from the chance to test their might against a worthy foe. They are taught the art of the hunt and the methods of war in early childhood, forced to undergo trials of battle and survival. It is said their skin is more akin to leather than human flesh, able to recover from vicious strikes that might easily slay a lesser mortal. Barbarians reject most uses of sorcery and technology, considering them poor substitutes for simple resolve. Yet, they are expert blacksmiths, and certain clans have dedicated themselves almost wholly to the crafting and mastering of specific weapons. The maces produced by the Bear Tribe, the Spears of the Snake Tribe, and the pole arms of the Crane Tribe are considered by many to be nothing less than the finest examples of such weapons in Sanctuary. Many, however, are simply too big and too heavy 
to be wielded by anyone not sharing their heightened physical ability. A spiritual people, the barbarians revere Bulkathos and maintain a shamanistic belief in animal spirits and associated powers. This is in some way reflective of the rituals practiced by their distant cousins in Skosglen. Above all though, the northern tribes considered the protection of Mount Arayat to be a sacred duty. Their failure has left them spiritually adrift. Since the destruction of the World Stone, the great strength and fortitude of the barbarians have become more widely appreciated across Sanctuary. Their long and noble history and the sophistication of their culture is increasingly understood and has removed from them the stigma that wants to find them. Yet, this has only served to underscore the depths to which they have fallen. The great historian Abd al-Hazir, upon visiting the Dreadlands, was said to have remarked, where are those majestic warriors of old? As darkness spreads once again across Sanctuary, and the whispers of the primevals find refuge in mortal minds, perhaps the fading embers of Bulkathos might burn brightly once again, and Al-Hazir's question might be answered. The Templin Institute investigates the nations, factions, and organizations of alternate worlds. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to join the Templin Institute, consider pledging to our Patreon page. Along with increased security access, you'll be able to vote in polls to determine future topics, get custom wallpaper every week, and receive some other exclusive rewards. 